Time to get ready for Halloween. Thinking of doing um, cats and bats in black acrylic on the Universal Laser VLS 3.60. Really easy project to do. In this video, I'll kind of run through how to design these in Corel Draw, and then we'll run them and put them together. I'm going to start in the internet, and I'm going to search for images, uh, free images, black and white silhouettes of a cat for Halloween. Probably type all those words in. Make sure you're not stealing somebody's artwork and you're allowed to download it. Once I do that, I'm going to save that image on my desktop, and then I'm going to create a new um, drawing in Corel Draw 2021. I set this width to 24 and the height to 12. That's the actual bed size of the laser cutter. I also, this is very important, I select RGB for the red, green, blue color scheme. And then here's my window. And then from here, I'm gonna go File, Import, and I'm gonna import my saved drawing from the internet. And let me make it a little bit larger here. So there's a cat. The artwork really needs to be all black and white. We're only going to do a cut through. I'm not going to do any engraving at all here. Uh, I'm just going to cut through this image. So the way I'm going to do that is the first thing I do is I create a vector. So I go up to here to trace bitmap, outline trace, logo. And that looks pretty good. I can make adjustments here, but this actually looks pretty good. I hit OK, and now I vectorize this image. There are two things going on. There's an outline around the whole thing, and then there's also a fill inside. So right here is my outline. I'm going to select that outline, and the cut through has to have a red, green, blue color scheme, the 25500. And it also has to be a hairline weight. And that's how you program the computer to actually do a cut through. So outline red 25500, and then my line weight is hairline. And then let me see if I did that. Delete my fill. Not sure what that line right there is. Let me delete that whole original image. And there's my silhouette of a cat. Make sure the eyes as well is 25500, it is, and it's a hairline. So here's my cat. Here are the dimensions of that imagery, about an, two inches wide and three inches tall, you know, two inches long this way and about an inch wide. That might still be a little too big. I think I'll go more like an inch and a half. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a little hole to put the airing thing in here. I might be able to do it in the eye, but I think I'm gonna do it right here and then the airing will hang down this way. So I'm just gonna use an elliptical tool on the left here and create a little ellipse, probably 0.125 by 125 will work. So probably an eighth inch by an eighth inch. There's the cut through hole. It's pretty big, it could probably be smaller. But again, I want it to be a cut through. So I go over here to the outline. I'm gonna set it to 255.00. And that lets the computer know that it's a cut through. So not only do I have to set the color, I also have to set the line weight right here to hairline. So now I have a red hairline circle. Back to my selection tool, I could grab that and then I could put it right there. I don't know if that's gonna look good or not. We'll see how that works. So now that I have one airing, back to my selection tool, I'm gonna copy the whole thing. A quick copy is I select it, I left click on it, I drag it next to it, as close as I get so I don't waste any acrylic, and then I right click, and then that's how I create a pair. If I'm making a lot of these earrings, I could select the two of them now, drag them, right click, and then copy the pair of them. I don't actually, I only want to do a pair to run them. I'll put them in the top left hand corner there. So there's my Corel Draw file. From there, I go File, Print, VLS 3.60, because that's the machine I have. I'll minimize this. I'll open up the driver for this machine. So here it is there. And then I can see on the driver, there are my two cats. If they don't look red, they won't be cut throughs. So that looks good. 
two of them together, about two and a half inches by two inches. Very important, you go down to settings here. You check the thickness of the material with the dial caliper. They're exactly eight inches thick. This is a plastic material. It is an acrylic. It's actually a cast acrylic. And maybe I'll use, and then the thickness is 0.125. Then I hit apply, okay. And then I can hit play. Make sure the back system's on, and there it is, cutting it out. I'll leave that paper on there. There they are there, something happened on that first one. So I pulled the paper off of them. I don't know if I actually really like that little hole in their head. Um, here are my earring clips, and I also have a piece of cardboard to mount them on. I'm going to take that little ring, open it up put it through that hole and then hook it to the earring. There they are with the earring hook on them with the little circle mounted on the cardboard. They look okay. They still first prototype might need a little more work. Um, clean them up a little bit with rubbing alcohol. They look cool. I think these will be a big hit. So Halloween cats. If you're new to this channel, think about subscribing. Thank you for watching. Love to hear your comments below.